quick video showing how the uh, mirror on the Z is mounted. First of all, this is the broken piece. The base part here is broken. This shouldn't be shaped like this. And the other break is the head itself. It's got a big chunk missing out of it. So, anyway, the way this is attached to the car is this metal piece fits inside the door skin. I'll actually orient it the right way. This would be the driver's side. This is forward. This goes from the inside of the door skin. This piece would come down on the outside of the door skin, and if it hadn't broken off, there'd be a little plastic peg that sticks right off of here, and it engages right into that spring steel capture point. So that would go down on that, like that. Then that would be kind of stuck holding onto the, onto the car. The only thing holding in there at this point would be that pin through here. And then lastly, the mirror would go on like so. Simply take the bolt, put it through, and it would extend down that hole, but it's not doing it right now because I don't bother to set this up right. But anyway, there you go. It goes through, and then you put a nut on the end of that, under that bolt, and tighten it up. And that's how the mirror would go on. So taking it off, first thing you do is you unscrew the nut, pull the whole head shell off. Okay. Then, working uh, in a very tight space, get something to allow you, I think probably a, I don't have it with me, uh, some kind of a dowel, something you get thin and press. What you want to do is try to push up here, because I don't think it's wise to pull off. That's what I did, and it just snapped right off. So it's not. I mean, maybe I went really slow. I don't know. I don't think that's, I think the better approach is if you can get to it, if you have access, is you'd press up, trying to push that pin up, and that way you're not tugging on it and stressing out this joint right here where the pin is uh, molded into this piece of plastic, and then this piece would come off. Anyway, that would be the uh, the removal process. Anyway, I'll we'll give another some more views of it. This would be like if you were standing on this side of the car looking down at the driver's side. This goes on first. Then the head shell goes on second. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks.